Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl and The Flash. We've got a sort of Q&A video that we're going to be doing today, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, this video we're going to be talking about some of your questions that you sent in from Twitter, Instagram, and also the YouTube community section. So sometimes this happens, so either follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or be sure to regularly check the community page on my YouTube channel and you guys can have questions included in some videos. I think I do these videos about like once every one, two weeks or something like that. Anyway, so the first questions come from Twitter and so the first one comes from Jamie Harley. He says, do you think when Barry gets the new speed force, he'll get new boots along with this? So I think that's a possibility. Obviously, I think that will come with a costume upgrade pretty soon. So I guess there's a possibility that with the new speed force, he'll be able to like manifest boots or manifest any part of like clothing or anything like that. So I don't know if that's a possibility, but it would be very cool. And obviously it's very comic book accurate if he did get those golden boots like he does in the comics so I think it's a possibility but I'm not so sure if it's going to be via the new speed force anyway so moving on to the next question and I didn't catch a name on this but the question is will the flash season 7 be the final season so I think it's totally down to the actor so it's down to Grant and what he wants to do they are contracted to season 7 I do believe at least the main cast and then like the other members of the cast can leave if they want or whatever but it's really down to if the main actor wants to continue so the CW obviously wants to keep the flash for as long as possible you know they kept Supernatural for god knows how long and it's still going on and so I don't see why the flash can not do that it's the highest rated show on the network everyone loves it and obviously it seems like Grant wants to stay on and he's still young so I would say that the flash can definitely last to about season 10 it could obviously continue but then it's down to Grant I think it's probably a season by season basis after season 7 unless he signs a contract for like five years or something like that so I wouldn't say season 7 is the final season I think it's gonna continue anyway so Scarlet Speed Force asks do you think the Speed Force manifestations will resurface when the new Speed Force is restored? So I don't think they're restoring the Speed Force, they said they're making a new Speed Force. So I think the manifestations like you get Nora, that's the manifestation for Barry. Obviously Wally probably had a different manifestation for himself. But I think they will return and I think they will be perhaps changed. I don't think they're going to be necessarily the exact same like people or like manifestations but I do think there's going to be a form of that because it's an easier way for the show to actually communicate the Speed Force talking to Barry or to whoever it's talking to rather than just being there and Barry's in the Speed Force and no one's talking to him because it's like a person's obviously easier to interact with anyway so let's move on to the next question Wested David asks Will we see a pure crossover with Kara and Barry again? So will we see a Supergirl and Flash crossover? So like yesterday's video or the day before, there was talk about Supergirl maybe crossing over with Stargirl and Flash crossing over with Stargirl. But it seems like a no-brainer that sometime in the future we're going to go back to the Flash and Supergirl crossing over because we've had two big crossovers with them, just, you know, those two shows and nothing else. Obviously, they've all crossed over in the big crossovers. So I would say that, yeah, there's definitely going to be one, but I don't know when it's going to happen. I hope it's next season because they are some of my favorite episodes of all time in the Arrowverse. Okay, so let's move on to Instagram. So Mumro McLaren asks, what do you think the cliffhanger for the finale will be? And she's talking about Supergirl here. So obviously it's a little bit far off and I don't know how the season is going to end. So I can't really predict if it's going to be a continuation of this season. But if you look back at some of the past cliffhangers, it's sometimes to do with the villain. So I would say maybe a teaser for the main villain of the season. Obviously, you end the season, you sort of wrap up everything, and then you get that final teaser. And I think it could be like a kind of rain situation where we saw her, you know, being sent to Earth or anything like that. Or like mon pod at the end of season one flying down, then you get the reveal in season two, episode one. So it could be some sort of big reveal. Or it could be some sort of link to the villain. I think the villain is probably more likely. Obviously there could be other cliffhangers. Sometimes they do more than one cliffhanger. 
So, yeah, I guess it's up for interpretation, but that's what I would guess as of right now. Okay, so Mumro also asks, what do you think the villain for Season 7 of The Flash will be? So, I don't have, like, a specific name that I'm sort of thinking about. I'm not thinking Godspeed because he's returning in a few episodes' time, but obviously we don't know how big of a part he's going to be. Like, is he going to be the back half villain or anything like that? We don't know, but it's probably not very likely because they keep on bringing Godspeed back and just, like, having him for one episode. So I don't really have any faith in them actually full-on bringing Godspeed as, like, a main villain. But I guess that's a possibility. But I would say it's probably going to be a speedster. And I've been saying this because it makes a lot of sense. The speedsters are the best villains in the show. So no, in fact, you've had Reverse Flash, you've had Zoom, you've had Zavatar. Then you go to The Thinker, and then you go to Cicada, and then you go to Bloodwork. And they're nowhere near as good as those three first villains who are all speedsters. And, you know, since then we haven't had a speedster villain. The only speedster villain we've seen is Godspeed but he only appears a couple of times and he's never really a massive thing really when you look at it. So I would say all bets on it being a speedster and I would really, really want it to be a speedster because I'm a little bit tired of the non-speedster villains because they don't really pose that much of a threat even though they are a threat and obviously they find ways to make them threats on the show. There's not really a sense of like, oh, this person could totally just like smack the flash. But yeah. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so let's move over to YouTube. So Skywalker501 asks, When will they end The Flash and Supergirl? And do you think they'll give Barry and Kara sacrificial deaths like Oliver or give them happy endings? So I sort of answered the first part of the question just like a couple of questions ago. But I think Supergirl definitely has the potential to continue like The Flash. But it's whether, you know, the main stars, Melissa and Grant, actually want to continue on. So we'll have to wait and see. But in regards to if they're going to get deaths by the end of, you know, when their shows end, I don't think Barry and Kara are going to die. Obviously, it's still a possibility because Oliver did. But I think Kara and Barry, what could happen is they'll get their happy endings and it will be all good. I think there is a possibility that Barry might end the show and he'll become the lightning rod and he'll become like the streak of lightning that, you know, struck him all those years ago because that's what happens in the comics and it would be a great kind of cyclical end to the series because, you know, it starts with a start, Barry gets the powers, and then Barry ends the series by dying and then giving himself powers at the start so he can be the hero he is. So I don't really know as in regards to Kara. Do you have any theories? Let me know. Anyway, so Tyrone Flame on YouTube asks, Do you think Jessica Parker Kennedy will return in the Godspeed episode? So it was rumoured recently that she would make her return sometime in the next few episodes. So I'm guessing the Godspeed episode is a pretty good bet. And I think it was around that time where she was actually seen in Vancouver. I'm not sure if she was actually shooting the Flash. But there is a high possibility with some of these actors when they return, like say when Chris was in Vancouver, basically there is a high chance that they are potentially going to be returning. So I think we may see Nora in that Godspeed episode. And so let's move on to the final question. The final question comes from Salty Cringe. He says, do you think the accelerated man, Jesse or Jay will ever return? So the accelerated man, I think... There is a chance, but obviously he hasn't been a big character at all. He has appeared once properly, and then he was a streak of lightning when we're on his earth. And I don't see really them bringing him back, you know, as like a proper character or anything like that. Maybe like a cameo appearance in like a crossover or something like that, but nothing too big. I think Jesse is supposed to be dead because, you know, the earth got destroyed. But maybe we see a different version of her, or maybe she did survive and I think there is a chance but I think it's more likely that we're going to see Jay Garrick and he returns because he comes back to the show quite often and the show loves John Wesley Ship. well the showrunners do so yeah that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new and I'll catch you guys later goodbye
icy room.